Okay, we are about 18, 19 days post lawn renovation. Did this from bare dirt. Um, and as you can see, everything's coming in really well. Uh, this is all perennial rye. Uh, I shouldn't say all perennial rye. I had a major washout two days after uh, I got everything done. And so I ran out of perennial rye. And I um, used uh, what I had left over from GCI Cool Blue. So there's a little bit of Cool Blue in here, which is turf type tall fescue and a little bit of Kentucky bluegrass. But for the most part, um, this is a local uh, perennial rye from Washington Elevator, just a local uh, feed supply store. And I've used it before and I absolutely love it. So yeah, you can have a full lawn again uh, in about two weeks with perennial rye it just comes up um, it is kind of dummy proof as long as you do your homework throw it down and it's gonna come up and I mean I've got incredible uh, thickness already um, you might be able to see but I've got tillerine uh, I've you know we're I've already got to cut this twice um, but yeah I've got two and three leaves coming off each individual plant yeah here's three right here i mean it's it's pretty nuts you know from top there's still some thin spots um but that's gonna happen it's gonna thicken up the more i mow um gonna be due for another round of starter for pretty soon but this is what you can expect from a perennial rye this is going to be pretty much sun 100 percent as you can i mean it's going to get some shade back here but this is going really, really well. I've been watering three times a day. I did have to cut back on it. Yesterday I took the entire day off because I'll show you that if I come over here to this part of the renovation. Like I said, it's looking real good. But I did have some of this uh, mildew stuff start. It's not... It's not Pythium, so don't freak out, but it it does happen a lot when you use this uh, Tactifier mulch, this stuff. Um, I After my wa second washout, I did throw some of this down, and I don't really know if I'll ever use it again, But because uh, every time I use it, it just seems to have water issues. Um, and you can thank my cat for this spot right here. Uh, like I said, that's not Pythium. Everybody's gonna think, oh my gosh, you've got Pythium. No, it's just it's just this mildew that comes on this crap. So I cut the water off, and I'm gonna keep it off for quite a while. Uh, probably another day I'll keep it off because it's still moist. Um, that is one of the issues when you're mixing cultivars. Perennial rye comes up, and literally, I could have stopped watering this three times a day, probably a week ago, but because I had to put that cool blue down which has got fescue and perennial uh, i'm sorry kentucky blue you've got to keep the water going um which i really hate doing because i don't know for whatever reason up here my area fungus is very 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 easy to get so i'm still i didn't water at all yesterday at all and i'm I, i'm still damp down here and my timers were on for seven minutes so it wasn't like i was soaking it i was doing seven minutes at 7 a.m and then at noon and then at four and it still was wet so just gonna keep an eye on it but overall um, coming in real nice real nice real nice down here and I will take you back here to show you the area that I did only cool blue just to give you a comparison at almost three weeks out so this area right here is completely um, GCI cool blue Okay, it's coming in okay. It's coming in okay. This is a tough spot back here because it gets sporadic sun. Um, but it just doesn't compare to the spots where I did perennial rye. Um, I, it just, from, at this point, it just doesn't lie. Uh, the results just speak for themselves. So as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty thin in here. Um, the fescues come up pretty good. It's pretty tall. I mean, it is probably ready for a cut. I mean, some of this is probably five inches I haven't cut back here at all watering's been the same but it's just much much thinner um, I won't be using that cool blue again 
Uh, I just am not overly thrilled with it. It just doesn't perform in my area like uh, what I get from the local feed store. So I know everybody loves Cool Blue, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with the seed. It just might not work that great in my area. Um, this is not my first time growing grass, and uh, it's okay. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe the Kentucky Blue will come in later. I'm not sure, but um, it's just okay. I'm not uh, not overly thrilled with it compared to what I... Maybe I'm just a perennial guy, and I'm just a sucker for grass that comes up in a week, and you're mowing in two and a half weeks. I don't know, but still thin. Thin here, thin over here. Um, this spot gets a good mix of sun and shade, and I've been irrigating. You know, here's my one of my zones down here. Um, but as you can see, as you get, like, I'm, I'm all con uh, cool blue from here to about right there. And I had to use some blue on this side as well as it got washed out. But as I get more to my perennial rye, as you can see, things just start to look thicker. They start to look better. I mean, that looks fantastic for not even three weeks in. I mean, I could probably mow that again. Uh, I'm just totally thrilled with how that perennial rye works. Um, and that cool blue, in my opinion, just gets a big fat average. I don't think it's anything wrong with peat seed. I think it just might not work great for my area. I'm in Detroit, so I don't know. Um, that's been my experience. So, like I said, cool blue over here. I, I'm, I'm hoping that I get surprised and this stuff just starts thickening up like crazy. Um, I do kind of think I'm biased towards that perennial rye. I know I keep saying perennial rye, but that sissy grass, you just just performs. I mean, it is just awesome. There you go. That's that's basically a full lawn again in under three weeks. Already mowed it twice. Probably going to have to mow it as soon as it dries out again. So that's it.